think this is just a loading screen. Yeah, I ha oh, all right. That was just the uh, the intro, I guess. Sleeping with jeans on, that is like got to be the one of the most uncomfortable things. I hate jeans so much. You can catch me wearing jeans to take pictures and then just wear in something else because you won't catch me in jeans for longer than an hour at most. Well, she looks happy. All right. So now I guess this is where we really get into the first episode. Time to get out of bed. It's kind of hard to tell, like, do we think Sometimes she's in high school or? Daily rituals are important. Looks like a journal. Yeah, basically just a journal about stuff. That's the principal there. Okay. Oh, it's just the same pages over and over again. Alright, cool. Can we can we stand up? Nope. What's that? Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Okay. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? All right. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Yeah. How is change clothes. parents okay with that? Like, there's. No way that the mom doesn't know that uh, she's been smoking up here. Periodic table. Better living through chemistry. All right, what a badass. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Is this like... I'm guessing it's just like a high school picture. I was gonna say like maybe like a graduation photo, but... It can't be like a whole class or anything. Maybe this was like an elementary school picture, no idea. Because I don't know how far back Ask in time Miss this really Arcadia. is. You're the only... Wait, what? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Most oh, it's of a them nice picture. are not good feelings. Okay. Let's just go downstairs. I think we're okay. Seen everything we need. I should at least check out my dresser before I leave. I lied. We haven't seen everything we need. Time to go check the dresser. Right here. Oh. Even though we're already dressed, I guess we have to get dressed. She's. I guess she's gonna put on two shirts, two pants, four socks. I guess that means she showers twice, brushes her teeth twice, goes to the washroom twice. Very cool. Can we go eat now? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I really Watch, it's probably going to say me I'm missing another thing. Max made me this mix CD hmm. years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Alright, are we good? Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How I should know better, yeah. Night? We're oh, always missing something I before we leave. It. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Good idea. Great idea, actually. 
phone. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in Do we really room. have to investigate? I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's downstairs. So, do we think her phone's with her? Wow, look at me. Literally the most expressionless face I've ever seen. It's just a towel. Don't understand why it's a big deal. Um, just a picture. Anything important? Look at a bed, a drawer. Maybe the phone's in there. Is it? It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. Okay, it's, it's not. It's not like we have any money. Um, anything else? What's over here? A ring. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, mom's selling her engagement ring? Oh. Interesting. I'm gonna assume the phone's not in here. We're just I hate snooping. That she hides all our old pictures of dad. So because like I know what happened and everything. I, I don't want to spoil anything because just in case you guys haven't seen the other game or played it, I should say. Like technically, we already know what happened to the dad, what happened I to need everyone. To find my phone before I um, get down there. Who Rachel Amber is. But this is before all that happened, so I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. Wait, does it say I need the phone? I need to find my phone before I it's head down there. It's not here, though. Oh my gosh. Where could it be? We checked the drawers. We checked in here. Nothing. Nothing. Did we? Wait, cabinet. It can't be in there. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Okay, towel. Maybe, uh, the preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Wow, interesting picture. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. <laughs> and he could go home again. He just didn't want to. All right, where can it be? It's in here somewhere. It has to be. Oh my gosh, did we really miss it? I can't believe that. Anything in there, though? Before we pick it up and... Oh. Ah, Mom! Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. <laughs> Awkward. How can Mom look at this, this every looks day and ancient. not see what a tool she's dating? Why would she lift it to her ear? Shouldn't she go in the other room and listen for her phone? Come on, go, go, go. It sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. What? Do we think it's downstairs? Oh, it's in the bathroom. Where is it? What is that? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Why the heck would it be there? It's so random. Alright. Oh. Um. Mom said, will you be coming home tonight? Will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Oh, great. That's nice. And she's making breakfast for us? Something's up. What did I say? Did you finish the homework? No. That's the third time. I already know everything. Smarty. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why is she acting I so think nice? I saw mom's purse in her room. Probably gonna get scolded downstairs. Um. Ooh, I'm not gonna place that on the dresser. That's not good. Um, where's the purse? There it is. Like she obviously doesn't want to see the picture oh, of her. Uh, ex-husband, so why would I force it on her? Alright, let's go. That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, mom.
feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of loading Finally, screens in this game. Put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. All right. Purse down. Chloe, I don't have all day. Get over here already. <laughs> I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Yes, you should. Let's go. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Yeah, it's not hard to answer a text message, that's the thing. Yes, Sorry. you will do better. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Hmm. Yeah, let's bring up the engagement Are ring. You Why not? Your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons, like for insurance. Does it? Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Talk about David you now. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. <laughs> He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Didn't know girly yeah, was right. a mean School. word. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah, I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. She just doesn't yeah. care at all. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? <laughs> I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. Yeah, well, what? what's the parent going to do about it? I know it? what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Yeah, the mom really shouldn't do that. She should Between just let her take the consequences. My rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the Ooh. night often enough. Didn't know she would say it like How that. Would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. She does. David's He's right. Business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Hmm. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. People. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's Ooh. had some hard times too. She's know. really taken all the shots. To share his experience. I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. 
Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Hmm. Uh, let's be understanding, I guess. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need she you. She clearly does. I still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, How sweet. Dave is waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Why? It's literally keys. Where even are they? I hope I didn't miss something. Oh, a stain on the ground. Nice. Uh, is that? I feel like. No, it's We're not keys. already supporting one. Thanks. Uh, just a TV, a photo. Can't go in there. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Letter from school. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Hmm. Where are these keys? I actually have to let this jack off drag me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. Um, I guess we just leave watch. It's gonna say, you need the keys first, but I don't see them. <sighs> Crap. Yep. I forgot David's keys. That's probably worth at least 10 push ups. Hmm. What's this? Dad's old swear jar. We spent hmm. the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Come on, where is the keys? Snow globe. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Mm hmm. Really, though, where? Here they are. Oh, they're in there. Would have never seen that if I didn't click that. Time to go to school. Let's get these to David, so he no point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. Wait, does she not need a backpack? Is she gonna grab one or just go to school like this? Oh, we just got a text right before that. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Like, what's her problem? Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Huh? No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. What the hell was that? He just snapped his fingers at her. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. <laughs> then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Time to go to the garage. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Okay, what's. How do we see our phone? Oh, here it is, Steph. 
I have your DVD, you can get it before school. Thanks. Okay. Time to get this wrench. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Oh, is he gonna make us find the exact wrench? Hope not. Um, toolbox. Take. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. <laughs> Maybe 90-10. All right, we good now? Can we go? So, you find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Socket wrench. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Power. No shit. You know, you could actually take be it good easy at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. <laughs> Not all right. Yes, accept the fist bomb. Fine. Don't be a Whatever. dummy head. Time to go to school now. Wow, I'm expecting this to be a hey, pretty long first episode. You, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> I've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure their toolbox is just as good. It's like half the size. Ready to roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of the vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Oh my god, can't you just listen, like... Mm-hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. Yeah, and they don't even you care. You need to shape up. Get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. All right, time to get going. Time to go to school. All right, and that's gonna do it for this part of the playthrough. I appreciate everyone who watches all the way through and gets to this part, and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.